before I went on vacation if they had aged meat. It costs more in a restaurant because it's been aged and it's ready to go. I just saved 50% on my meat, on my food bill. See, I used to believe women were brilliant. They knew how to find sales. They made my life better because they were making it less expensive. Turns out, it's all bullshit. The entire game that women play is bullshit. And once we, as men, as MGTOW, realize that our futures don't need women in them, right? women will become more and more horrified. Right now, they're horrified at MGTOW. Absolutely shocked that I could stand here and say, fuck you to women. I've had it with your feminist, better than thou, pious, in your face, crap. Ew, you smoke cigars? You say, yeah, I do. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my God, you drink scotch? That tastes like wood. Exactly. I'm drinking water tonight because I'm a little bit dehydrated. Right, MGTOW is step one. Women are obsolete. Thank you, Harley Earl, for bringing it to everyone's attention. And we were already aware. He just systematized it. Once again, it's a man thinking man technology. Systematized planned obsolescence. But see, where I could look at it and apply it to my life, apply it to my work, apply it to culture and society, and I could see where the future is leading us. Women can't do that. They don't have the imagination. All they can realize is the results after the fact. And MGTOW is showing them after the fact how badly they've fucked up, how badly they've burned us, how much they're going to have to pay, how hard they're going to have to work. Can you fucking believe that shit? They've talked themselves out of a job. Right? Thank you, Harley Earl. Thank you to men. Men who have developed these technologies. Men who have made our world an exciting and better place. Right? These women thought men made this stuff for them. They did. But it's been turned around, so men use technology for ourselves. Right? Planned obsolescence. What do you guys think? And the women I know that understand that the artificial womb is coming, and understand genetics, that we don't need women, and understand that we don't need their legal system in marriage. We don't need their social system. I don't need to be accepted by a bunch of clowns out here. Right? Society in general can't tie its own shoes. I'm supposed to care about them, right? Why should the smart man, the intelligent man, the wise man give a shit about any of that stuff? Right? A sex bot is not going to club me over the head. It's not going to be upset that I'm out too late. It's not going to be upset that I'm working hard and ignoring it. It's going to be patient. It's going to follow a program. It's not going to go out and screw my neighbor. It's not going to give me VD. Right? Odds are it'll just get better and better and better. Just like other technology. There's some scary aspects to it, and I get that. But that's where it's going, whether I like it or not. There's nothing I can do to change what's going on in the world. But I can improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I see that everything is being designed in such a way that I'll be able to benefit by it. Women are looking at everything and they're not benefiting. They're losing their job as wives and partners in life because of their asinine thinking, their destructive behavior. They're losing their jobs, right, as women. There's no need to form for cleaning. Hell, I can get that in the gig economy or do it myself. And they talk themselves out of the most fundamental job of them all. Making babies. And that's just a few years away. Right? What do we want women for?
for real. A companion, sex, and housekeeping and food. In order to get the housekeeping and food and companionship with a natural woman, you have to put up with all of her shit and risk your entire life, your entire fortune for them. And men are already saying, you know, I'm going to skip all of that. I'm going to forego all of that because I don't need it. Right? I can get it by alternative means. Pretty soon there's going to be an artificial woman that replaces them wholesale and will give men all the satisfaction that they would want from a natural woman if and well, if a woman was willing and able to consistently provide that. Computers consistently provide and consistently work. They don't need a new car. They don't need to go to the gym. They don't need a woman's trip with the girls to get away from the guys so they can go screw around. Robots won't need to blow all of your money. They won't need to argue with you constantly and continuously in an effort to try and make you feel stupid and unwanted and unneeded. Arturo Fuente Cigar. Awesome. Thank you guys for, for the Scotch Cigar Coffee, for the Patreon and PayPal funding. What a good deal. And women have blown it, have they not? Tell me what you think in the comments. Harley Earl, planned obsolescence. Do you think he knew? Do you think he could guess where everything was going? Do you think he saw his concepts being applied socially? Do you think he saw that women one day would be unneeded because this industrial practice of product development, product improvement, and product replacement was coming? Women complain that we objectify them while they turn around and objectify us and everything else. Your house, your car, your job, your social status, everything is objectified and valued by them for themselves. And then they get mad when we do it. Well, we objectified women. What did we like about them? Their kindness, their softness, how well they did their job. Not anymore. That's wrong. How dare you objectify a woman? Guess what? You've been replaced, bitches. You're going to be replaced altogether pretty soon. The day will come when women will start begging men to objectify them again. To treat them like property. Begging men to take care of them. Allowing them. Begging men to allow women to please them again. Hell, you only get one robot woman for that price when you can have three of us for the same price. Three natural women for the price of one robot woman. Please accept us, is what they'll be saying. Be like, what? Three times the headache? Get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, that's enough of this. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video, all MGTOW videos, with men you know. Because MGTOW is that important. Men going their own way. You are not sacrificial. You are not less than. You are worthy. You are powerful mentally and physically. You have real value and you belong to yourself. Not to a woman. Not to society. MGTOW is freedom. Men going their own way is freedom. I have the penis. I'm the man, right? Semper Fi, guys.